So you have this this amazing career. You're kind of looking at it from the the top of the mountain at this point. How do you personally at this point kind of define or rationalize, you know, what you have done for RC car racing? Does that come up at you, girl? I don't think it's quite so like sunk in yet. I I obviously know like all the success we've had and the innovations that me and my dad have come up with over the years, but I don't really see myself as that. I got a little taste of it, I guess, when people come up to you and they want an autograph or something. It kind of makes me realize a little bit that how popular I was in the RC community, but at the same time, I try to keep myself humble and not let that go to my head. So it's kind of a balance. It's definitely a weird feeling now that I'm not racing. I'm just watching the races, but it is nice to have a change of lifestyle and moving forward with a kind of a regular life, I call it now is, is exciting and it's definitely different, um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm happy to hear it, Ty. And that's kind of leads me to my last question. You know, how did you know that it was time to really retire? Um, it happened relatively quick, I suppose. I mean, or what was that process like for you? <clears throat> well, I hadn't, like, if I go back a couple of years, let's say I hadn't, planned this would be the time but just the way everything worked out um get, having the baby on the way that it made me realize as soon as I found out it's it's weird and I know people have told me all the time that your mindset changes when you have a kid and even when I found out it's like something sub like subconsciously changed in my thought process that I didn't plan and I didn't really think about it it's just all of a sudden it, your mindset changes and then priorities change and all of a sudden different things become important. So that's kind of a being able to stay home and be there with my wife and and kid to come was the most important thing to me now. And even though I love RC racing and I had a passion for it for so long that I wouldn't say I've lost it, but it's, it's weird. It's a very weird feeling. It's kind of hard to explain unless you're in that situation. The timing of that. And then I wouldn't say x-rays decision to stop my contract really depend, like made it happen or not, but it was a little bit, I would say a little bit of a, a push just kind of with the main thing was the kid and wanting to be there more because traveling a lot. I know, like I was talking to Ryan Lutz and Jared Tebow, they, they have, like I was kind of asking what it's like and they didn't sound like they enjoy being away as much as they, they have to be. Mm -hmm. So that plus when my dad, I think just had me, he was working on the oil rigs. He said he regretted being away so much. So that again, that kind of, I wouldn't say it made my decision easier, but it gave me some more thought and some more examples to kind of go off of that. You can't replace the time you missed from your kids. So I didn't want to do that. And I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to be there for them. And, and, uh, I knew that it wouldn't be as easy to race and maybe wouldn't do as even as good if I'd be thinking about home life. So I just figured that now is a good time to hang it up beginning of the year. I mean, if I, like, if I could have, I probably would have raced till the kid would have come, but that contracts don't work like that. So I kind of had to make a decision early. Understood. I mean, that's the beauty of life, that kind of perspective, um, on situations like that. So. That's really good. Well, uh, self awareness, if you ask me. Yeah, it was it was something weird came over me, and yeah, I just felt like it was a good time. I mean, I still feel like I could compete for a while longer because there's obviously people competing well into their thirties and even even late thirties. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that was that really wasn't a concern of mine. It's just I also would like to go out and retire while I'm still competitive instead of retiring kind of as, as you're falling off and being forgotten about. So. That's totally. maybe just a little bit of a uh, a selfish reason. but Well, I don't think we're forgetting about you anytime soon, Ty. Don't worry about that, man. You've inspired mm -hmm. so many. Um, thank, thank you for sharing that. Um, you know, here we are, though, February of 24. Are you totally closing the book on RC racing? Do you see yourself with, like, any, any like um, investment within the industry moving forward down the line? Obviously, you're focusing on your family now, but, you know, down the road, perhaps? Um, you know, I haven't really thought about it too much as far as in the future. There is a side of me that makes it so I don't want to race unless I can be extremely competitive again. And after taking such a long break, like even if I came back after a year, I feel like that would be enough time to where I would lose touch a little bit and I would be concerned about being able to be competitive. And I mean, I don't really just want to do it just to kind of be there or barely make the main. I would rather 
either peak or super competitive like I was or just completely, completely uh, just kind of stop it. I mean, I still have a couple, like I have a couple callers and stuff just for, just for bashing around fun. But as far as racing goes, I have no plans as of right now. I mean, it's, stuff can change, but as of right now, I don't. 